Hello friends, in this video we will talk about one more site template that is a record center. In this video we will cover an overview of a record center. Then we will discuss about various activated features available in a record center and various site settings available in a record center. Then we will discuss about one of the most important feature of a record center that is content organizer rule. We will learn this content organizer rule with an example of writing a one rule that will automatically send document to an appropriate location. So now let's get started. First we will discuss about record center overview. Basically for which purpose record center is used. Record center is a centralized repository which will manage your organization's record. It also manages some co confidential document of your organization. Record center provide a feature of record routing which is the most important feature of a record center. We can apply various content organizer role to achieve record routing. So now let's check how to create a record center template in your SharePoint admin center. First, click on new option. Click on private site collection. It will open a pop-up to create a new site collection. Now we will fill all the information. We have filled all the information. Now we will click on OK button. It will take some time to create a record center. Now as you can see our record center is created successfully. Now we will go to its home page. Just click on it and we will click on the website address. So we are going to redirect on our record center home page. So we are redirecting to our record center home page. This one is the home page of our record center. It has some out of the box web part on their home page. The first it is showing the title of the record center that we have set in our admin center. Then it is providing one out of the box web part about welcome to the record center. Then it is providing a submitting record uh, out of the box web part. By using it we can submit our uh, record means we can upload our document. Then it is provide some useful tips about record center management topics. It also provides some compliance organization techniques here. Then it is showing one out of the box web part that is my record pending submission. Means it is showing all the documents available in a drop off library. Now we will check the site contents of a record center. So just click on site contents. Click on classic SharePoint. It is showing to out of the box library. The first one is a drop off library. Drop off library is a location in which we can drop our document. We can apply various rules on that particular drop off library. As per the rule, it will automatically move particular document to a particular record library or a document library. So uh, this is a overview of our site content. Now we will check various activated features in a record center. So we will go to the site setting and then we will click on manage site features as we can see here content organizer feature is activated in here then uh, it also activated following content then hold feature is activated metadata navigation and filtering feature is also activated over here then the basic feature like SharePoint service server enterprise site feature and SharePoint server site standard site features are also activated here. So then team collaboration list feature is also activated workflow task content type is also activated. Now uh, this is this was a site features which are activated in a record center. Now we will check the how we can manage a record center for that we will go to site settings. Then it provides an option under site administration that is manage record center. If we click on manage record center, it will open this home page record center home page. It shows some out of the box web part over here. It shows useful information available on a home page. As you can see, it is showing record management task. 
This web part shows record management task like create a content type, create a record libraries, create content organizer role, design a site welcome page. These are the basic step for setup task and file plan. Now if we click any of the link, it will open a page like this. Second, second web part which is showing some common record management task. There are six record management tasks over here like create a new record library, manage content and structure, create content organizer rule, discover and hold records, generate a file plan of report, generate an audit report. And it is showing content organizer role web part. If we have set some content organizer role on drop of library, it will show all the rules which we have applied. We can easily navigate to every rule over here. Now I will create one content organizer rule which will automatically move a document. First I will show you without drop of library, without writing any rule, how the document management is work in record center. First we will go to the home page of record center. Now we will click on submit a record. We will click on choose file. I am uploading one image over here. I will click on OK button. Now if we check our drop off library, it is showing the uploaded document. Means all the document which you are going to upload from your home page, it is directly going to drop off library. Now we will talk about one of the most important functionality of a record center and that is content organizer rule. Now there is a question in your mind that why do we use content organizer rule? Suppose I have one scenario in which I am going to upload multiple document in my drop off library and I want to automatic manage documents. I need those document is to be managed automatically to that particular document library. For that I have to write content organizer rule in record center. Suppose if it is a normal document library then we have to write workflows or some custom code for it but record record center itself provide this out of the box functionality now let's get started with an example first i will go to site contents and create one document library in it i have created one document library named reports now I, I will write one content organizer rule for that I will go to site setting and then click on content organizer rules click on the new item I am creating one rule I will first give its rule name so I will give it to rule one now I will set the priority I will set it to the second priority now my content type is a document content type so i will select it from document now i have to create a rule for it i have to apply condition for it like if a title is equal to report it is to be moved in a report document library automatically so i will select here report library click on ok so if my title contains a report it is automatically moved to the reports library now we will go to the drop off library we will upload one document I can give it its name as report and just click on submit button as you can see this pop-up is appeared here which is showing save to the final location. The document was submitted successfully and saved to its final location. And its final location is under reports library. Now we will check that document which, which is uploaded in a reports library or not. So we will click on the reports library and as we can see here our document is moved automatically so this is how we can apply content organizer rule to our record center which will automatically manage documents 
if it will automatically move our documents from drop off library to an appropriate drop off record library or document library suppose you have created any custom content type and you want to set up content organizer role you can set your content organizer role on that custom content type so this is how the record center is look like this one is a basic overview of a record center hope you like this video if you have any question related to this topic topic you can mail me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can also whatsapp me on plus 9195379814467 stay connected with me on facebook whatsapp and twitter and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you